with some Dominion League play. Uh, please excuse somebody just started up a lawnmower uh, right outside, but we are ready to get into some Dominion. Let me see if I can find my opponent here just setting up the stream as well. Yeah, this is my opponent right here. And there's the stream and we're good to go cool all right uh, so the first game in this league has not gone super well and I spent the last two weeks running around catching Dialga so actually everybody else is basically finished with all of their games and we need to catch up a little bit. Uh, so let's read the way in the event. Plus two cards at the end of the turn. And that is a... I don't have my notifications up. Fragilities. Thank you very much for the follow. That was also really loud for me. So I'm going to turn down my my uh headphones here a little bit but thank you very much for the follow plus two cards at the end of the turn is really interesting it's going to be good with the necropolis though um i don't know if there's any other way to get plus actions there really isn't these are almost all terminal actions other than the Mystic, I know Upgrade isn't terminal. Interesting. Okay, and then this is for seven, you gain one and a gold. <sighs> well, yeah, wedding, wedding does seem good, huh? I think you just start with Steward for the trashing, though I could certainly see... Just going for bishop, huh? But I don't think having extra actions is going to be too bad because of way of the squirrel. So let's let's go for steward, and the next turn we'll squirrel the necropolis, and then I will probably get a bishop. But like you could you could also just use. You could also just start getting the treasure maps because you have access to Way of the Squirrel. So I don't think that that's horrible either. Um, I don't know if I want that as my first action. Like, if we just grab Bishop first, yeah, that's got to be better. Grab Bishop first. And then we can really start trashing and set up a big treasure map. I feel like that's that's got to be the answer, right? Uh, now here, I think we go Bishop Trash Overgrown Estate. Oh, wow, they drew into the Necropolis uh, both times. That's pretty cool. All right, so, yeah, we Bishop, we Trash the Overgrown Estate. Um... And that allow me to draw a copper. Um, it did give me, yeah, it just gave me one victory point. And then I have five. And my opponent went with the explorer. Mm, okay, so if you have a province, you gain a gold. I don't really think I love any of this. Um... So it allows you to trash... Yeah, I mean, that's not great. Um, what does Volt do again? So the player can discard two to draw one. Um, this is basically just like... a silver that we could potentially weigh of the squirrel. I don't know, maybe these mystics are good. You just play a bunch of mystics. 
I think we do want to buy something here because we want to be able to, to bishop things later. Um, I think I'm going to grab a... Uh, I'm going to grab a mystic for right now. Yeah, because we can continue to play the mystics. Um, but then I think we're going to look into getting some treasure maps soon. It's a pretty robust kingdom, I think. So next turn, if I have access to six, I mean, I probably will have access to six here um, because I'll name copper, I'll hit it, uh, and then I'll squirrel. So I can just straight up buy a gold here. I can buy a gold with no, and there's no extra buys in the kingdom other than nothing. Uh, no extra buys, right? All right, let's grab a gold. Gold is good with bishop. And it is, uh, it's good otherwise. Yeah, here come the, oh no, he bought a treasure trove, not a treasure map. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm interested in treasure map. The problem is I can't steward plus treasure map and still trash two cards. Um, I guess I bishop and like, I guess I just trash a copper and I get rid of the hovel later on. Um, that's kind of weird though. Um, what does this do again? Or two gold, or two gold, right. Um, I do feel like the deck is getting small enough that we could potentially treasure map here. We buy a treasure map this turn, next turn we buy a treasure map, and then we squirrel. That's gotta be good enough. Oh, that's right, my opponent is also going to get to trash a card. That's fine. Yeah, we've got enough here to treasure map again. We actually... I don't know if we'll treasure map because this is looking so juicy. Um, uh, let's see. N trashes a copper. I've only trashed one copper and that was last turn. So the last card on my deck is my final copper. Um, then I can way of the squirrel this. Um, I mean, no extra buys in the kingdom. I think I just buy a Pravi. I mean, I'd like to get this treasure map thing going on, but... I think I just buy a Pravi, and I'll even bishop the, the Pravi, you know? I don't, I don't really mind too much. That seems fine to me. Um, so now we can Necropolis, then we Mystic, and then we could potentially, right, just Bishop our Pravi, like I said, that puts us decently ahead on victory points and keeps our deck looking pretty svelte. Uh, so let's do that. Let's Mystic name Copper. Let's just double check this is what we want to do here. That will give us... Oh, that'll give us five gold because we have two gold from the Mystic as well. Um, and then we actually haven't used Steward still. Um, yeah, all right. Let's 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 start by trashing this. So that just gives me a solid four victory points. Um, I like that. I think we go ahead and... This does nothing if we don't have another treasure map, right? Yeah. So I think what we do here is we squirrel, and then we buy another treasure map. 
I believe that's right. The only other thing that I could see doing here would be trashing these remaining two copper, uh, setting up to do a treasure map by next turn, uh, which I think that's also pretty good. Um, we have to trash two cards, so we cannot still buy a treasure map this turn is the problem with that. But maybe trashing the deck a little bit more is just going to be better. So let's trash two. Let me take a look. Trash two. Yeah, let me get a little trash two here. And then I think I'll just buy a silver. Yeah, sure. I guess I'm going to buy another gold this turn. Um, gold's pretty good. You do need to pay attention. Like, when you've got one card in the deck, you're not actually leaving anything up to chance with the Mystic. You are just... Uh, you're just seeing if you know every card that's in your deck. So when it's a copper, I knew what it was. Upgrade is interesting because, like, there's no... I, I don't really see it. I don't really see upgrade this game. Alrighty. Um, and now here's, like, kind of moment of truth type of thing. I can use the bishop to trash the treasure map. Okay, they got their first province, uh, so score's tied up. I can use my bishop to trash the treasure map. Or I could use the bishop to trash a copper and then buy a second treasure map. And I think I like that here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Bishop, trash a copper. My opponent's going to get some free trash in action. And my opponent can definitely still buy a bishop later in the game. Uh, so we're not, like, super -de duper ahead. Um... Yeah, I just like treasure map here. I think that we're gonna be we're gonna be setting up some big things and right, look, on our other turns, we're gonna have plenty of other big things to do. Um Oh wow, so now I've trashed a lot of copper. Um I think I only have one copper in my deck. Um So I've trashed a copper, a province, and two copper. Uh, so I've trashed five copper. So yeah, I currently have no copper in my deck because I played a copper last turn. Um, so I think we just name like Havel here. Um, unless there's something I'd really like to draw. One, two, three, four five six um let's see what i guess i'd be fine drawing hovel i already have access to eight and then i could buy a province so i guess that is a good enough draw uh, so let's just name hovel because that seems good enough to me and i reveal a silver um but yeah like i said this is enough for a pravi so I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the Pravi. I'm tempted to squirrel here as well, though, to try to get both of those treasure maps. But I think we'll, I think we'll squirrel next turn if we don't hit. Uh, so let's go plus two coins and buy the province. I think the provinces are going to be somewhat easy to purchase this game with the... Uh, way of the squirrel on the table. Uh, so this turn, I just squirrel. Uh, this way we'll hit both of my treasure maps next turn. And then um, bishop honestly seems fine. Um, mill seems fine as well. I think I will buy a mill as we start to get a little more victory points in the deck. Um, this will also let me trash my hovel. So there we go, calculated. Uh, and I only got one treasure map, but I'm going to Necropolis into Steward, and that will draw me into my second treasure map, uh, as well as, I believe, another gold. Um, so, 
Yeah, that should that should work out okay. Uh, only going to have four gold this turn, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Potentially a bishop, um, as now we could start bishoping away this extra gold. Um, though maybe we just buy a mill as well. Um, my opponent getting some big money turns, so we want to pay attention and make sure we are keeping pace with them. But first, let's go ahead and do our treasure map thing. Um, so now we've got four golds on top of the deck, right? And we drew a gold, so we have seven this turn, which is what I thought we were going to have. So maybe we grab a gold and a victory point. Um, that seems good, repaying our debt. I forgot that Wedding gave a victory point as well. Um, so yeah, that seems good. And I just lost my camera. Am I back? I am. Let me click that button. Okay, great. And yeah, let me repay my debt. So we're definitely going to get a province this turn. That we knew about. Um, I forgot that we were going to have seven this turn, not four. Um, hopefully our deck is stronger than our opponents. Um, the fear here, though is that let me rejig this camera my fear yep as my opponent gains a province right there um is that hello hello camera come back to me my fear is that my camera will not turn back on oh no all right, I think we've I think we've lost the camera for now. Unfortunately, I don't want to make my opponent wait too long here. Um, so let's finish out this game with no camera. Um, so yeah, the fear now is that I I play this, I buy a province, my opponent squirrels, then I squirrel on my turn. Um, we're also down by so much. I think I have to take this here, though. Um, yeah, we've got enough to buy the next province if they cannot. But, I mean, I assume they'll buy some victory point. Like, they'll buy duchies. So, we've really put ourselves in a in a tough spot yeah because now they buy a duchy so we're still a little bit behind um i think what we want to do here then is just squirrel and buy a duchy i think that's what we have to do um we could mystic i guess it doesn't hurt to do so um but yeah, they just have to keep buying duchies, which means we have to buy duchies, and then if they ever hit, they can buy a province. But the fact that we can squirrel here and then still buy a duchy, um, maybe that puts us ahead. Maybe they'll miss at some point, or we can do something like bishop um, to get a few more victory points on top of my opponent. And no, they're gonna they're gonna end the game. All right, fair enough. It was definitely a gamble to take that penultimate province. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's a gamble that I keep going for and keep regretting. Um, so let's see if I can figure out this camera issue. And I understand part of the problem now is that I think I'm out of space on my computer. Um, I don't know if that would impact my ability to... No, I think I think my camera program just crashed. So let me control alt, delete this camera program real quick. Um, See if that fixes it. That should fix it, right? Mm 
Nope. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we do have the uh, necropolis and such again. And then we also have a lot else going on in this kingdom because we've got the peasant, which leads to the teacher. Um, exile of gold from the supply. My opponent has a 4-3 and uses that to buy the governor, which is really big. Okay. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so let's think about this. Um, we can use our coffers on either the relic... which is a nice little attack. Uh, the governor, the baker, um, all of this stuff is pretty good. The governor, I know I had a lot of success with when I um, played it previously. And then we're, we're probably both gonna stack up on peasants and try to grab the teacher, which rewards you for getting a bunch of the same action. Like grabbing a bunch of bakers. So I'm, I'm somewhat tempted to go for a bunch of bakers. Um, when you gain a gold, that does work with Way of the Camel. And we're both going to be using our necropolis to exile a gold here uh, pretty early on. Uh, so the governor seems good from that perspective as well. Um, let's just read the other stuff. Reveal a card from your hand. They have to reveal the same card. If they do not, you gain an additional gold and trash a gladiator. Um... Okay. Yeah, and fortune is nutty. Uh, at the start of cleanup, you may trash an action card. You would discard to gain a card costing exactly. So you trash an action that you actually played. Uh, I have no clue how to evaluate that. I mean, we could turn the baker into hunting around this basically all it's doing um, um i mean the governor replaces itself as well maybe the governor is just good and you start trashing some stuff all right i think i'm gonna go with what my opponent did here as well and also grab a governor um and then this turn we just way of the camel via necropolis and uh by a peasant yeah we're we're following my opponent uh Step for step here, tit for tat. Good moves. All right, and now how do we actually use the governor is a different question. Um, oh, I guess we get to trash a copper and grab a peasant. Uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll make use of that. If my opponent has the hovel or the other stuff in their hand, um, they will be able to... Uh, make use of it as well. Governor for plus one action. Now, if they... Oh, they trash Necropolis. That's interesting. I can trash a copper and then not gain anything. And then on my turn, I can still trash a copper and buy another peasant. Um, so peasant isn't the best one of these. Uh, but fugitive's pretty good. Um, soldier's good. Disciple is a better throne room. And then um, teacher winds up being insane and we'll try to grab all of the bakers um, slowly but surely as well. So let's governor. Let's trash and gain for a peasant. And then let's grab another peasant. Oh, my opponent with the overgrown estate. So they'll be able to grab a peasant off of that as well. This is potentially 
a critical mass of peasants here, but I think it will be okay. Um, yeah, now my opponent going for the baker. That is a good move. I wonder what they're going for with the workshop, though. Um, that's interesting. So I could grab another peasant. I don't, I don't know that we need more peasants. Um, kind of in for like a gladiator here. Um, though we are, if we're going to like run out of ap options, like the other option is just to turn this into a camel, um, which is probably just better. But then what am I doing? Buying another peasant? We're definitely getting too many peasants at that point. Um, but maybe it's okay for now. Um, cause we can just way of the camel them. So yeah. Okay. We'll do one more, um, one more peasant here. And I drew soldier already. Um, that sounds good to me. Uh, I gotta discard one card. So we discard this. Yep. Sounds good. Apologies for the lack of camera here. It's just not working. It's just not working for me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So let's soldier my opponent, and then we're going to have access to four which isn't really the best. I don't really know what I'm doing with that. Um, suppose I might just grab a silver, because uh, I really don't want a death cart. Um, and we're already so action heavy. So, I mean, that is the reason to grab a death cart, because we're so action heavy, but I think I'll just grab a silver here, and then we'll change this into a fugitive. And we're doing okay otherwise, other than the fact that we um, are not really buying anything super important, but we're drawing our peasants one at a time, uh, which is a pretty good thing here. Uh, so we're just probably, I think I'm just going to exile a gold and then gain a silver. Next turn we'll have access to the governor. And I believe I have, yeah, two golds in exile. I'll have three. Uh, so I will make use of them and turn them all into my deck. Uh, so let's exile one more gold, grab one more silver, exchange that for a soldier. And then here is my governor plus some other stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll use that to gain a gold here. We'll play the Fugitive, which the Fugitive actually is looking pretty clean right now, too. Um, we'll see if we draw Necropolis, I suppose. Okay, we did not. Um, now let's play the Governor and grab a gold. So my opponent gains a silver if they'd like. And now I can have access to four, which again, I don't think is really super useful. I think I'm just going to gain another gold. Oh, when you play the No, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you play the peasant using way of the camel, you still get to you still get to right, right, right. Okay. Um let's exchange everything. Access to 7 this turn, which is fine. Uh, we'll start to grab our first baker here, as my opponent already has two bakers. Um, baker's really good, because once you get them rolling, uh, use them to keep getting more. And that was why I was debating grabbing a baker off the very first play. Um, but uh, just just wasn't, uh, wasn't there for us. So we can either trash the copper... Or we can trash the hovel and grab a peasant. Um, I don't know that I really want a peasant. So I think I will just trash the copper and we'll worry about trashing the hovel later in the game. We can trash that for free. 
My opponent now with three bakers and a province. So this game is not looking super good. We're definitely going to beat them to teacher. Um, but just the way that the cards fell, uh, our opponent winds up um, doing a, a little bit more bacon action before us. And, uh, yeah, not not looking great. Uh, when you trash this, I guess we'll hang on to this. They're out of actions, though. All right, I'll just discard it. Um, yeah, this turn we're going to soldier them back. They're, they're gaining provinces like crazy, but if we can grab enough bakers, like we're definitely going to get to the teacher before my opponent does, and that is going to be our saving grace here. Hey, Kalari. Stuff is good. Stuff is good. Um, playing some Dominion. I've also been, been dabbling in some Hearthstone Battlegrounds of late. And uh, other than that, just playing some Pokemon Go, doing some schoolings, and living a good life. Uh, stuff is not going great as far as this match is concerned. My opponent won the first game after I took a pretty risky gambit that I felt like my, was my only way to actually win. Uh, but they've been playing pretty solid otherwise. And now uh, they're kicking my butt this game as well. Uh, so I can trash a card to gain a card that costs exactly one more. So I can't gain a seven, the fours are bad. Probably just trash a hovel here and then buy a province. Uh, yeah, this this one isn't looking super good. Um, <laughs> which is like a waste if I'm gonna buy a province to even trash my hovel. Uh, but there's just nothing else I can do with this. Uh, Gain a card that goes exactly one more. Yeah. So I can't gain a seven. Maybe it's a reason to grab a hunting grounds. Oh, yeah. Hunting grounds. And then you can governor the hunting grounds. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I could trash my silver. Now, let's just get rid of my hovel. Yeah, stuff's been going fun. How goes things with you? I pay attention... A little bit on the uh, the Discord for your projects and stuff working on. I basically every time you do like an at everyone ping, I I catch up on everything that I've missed in the meantime. Uh, I was playing a decent amount of Dominion as well. I uh, apologies that my eyes are are watering now. I think I rubbed them, and now. Now they are watering. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Um, I guess we'll take a peasant. And my opponent buys a peasant themselves and hangs on to all of their coffers. Well, hopefully this scares them a little bit, me buying a province. Um, yeah, unfortunately the disciple doesn't work with the soldier really in any capacity. Um, oh, I think I know what I do here. Okay, yeah, we just use this for way of the camel then. Um, my opponent gains another province themselves. So I think we go Disciple, we Way of the Camel this twice. Because otherwise we're just throwing away a bunch of cash. So let's go Disciple. Let's Camel this. And then let's buy a gold. And that gives me gives me three more gold all right well now we have a teacher in the deck uh, but we only have one baker to my opponent's five yeah yeah this is not looking good 
Um, we do have a bunch of gold in our deck, though. So maybe we should start grabbing the governors. Because on this turn, we can almost get two provinces. I guess we can't, because you gotta you got to get rid of your gold uh, to, to make that play. Um... I'm thinking, like, we can start governoring our gold and grabbing provinces. Um, I think we still do that, though. We governor the gold, and then we grab another governor. There's, like, no provies left, even. Um, it's awkward, yeah, because it's better to do it with hunting grounds, like I said. Um, so if we... What else can we do here? We can we can draw cards. Hmm. What does the soldier do? Just discards one card, right? Yeah, it just discards one card. Um, this is tough. We do have the coffers as well. Um, I think we just go... Governor. Trash and gain. And then buy... I feel like I feel like we buy another baker, but because what are we even going to use the teacher on right now? Like our teacher is just so bad. Um, we don't have two of any of these actions because my opponent has eaten up all of the bakers. But I think we grab it. The problem is my opponent is definitely going to be able to end the game soon. Maybe I needed to buy into the relics earlier on. I'm only thinking, like, Governor, you can just use it to draw cards. So maybe we could be using the Governor, but... I think it's too late. I don't know. I, I don't... I'm really struggling to see the way in which we win. Just because my opponent has so many bakers and baker is so strong. I don't think we really like messed up, messed up. It's just that uh, my opponent uh, was was a little bit luckier to get the bakers earlier on. Um, but maybe that's not fair to say. Um, and then I don't have access to anything here. Um, like, I think I use my coffers to grab a baker, though. Um, my opponent's just kicking my butt. Um. I don't even know what I'm going to teach the bakers when I draw the, the, the teacher. Oh, and so I have to play the baker first, too. Um, <clears throat> I could potentially get a province this turn, but, like, my opponent can grab provinces whenever they want to. Um, it's going to turn off my governor as well pretty soon. Uh, I have to play the baker before I play the teacher. If I draw a copper off the baker, then I'll be able to buy a province and play the teacher. Mm, they trashed a silver and grabbed a duchy. Yeah, to just expand their lead even more. Uh, let's let's just not trash. And they're still going. And their turn's still going on. So, yeah, they, they grab another duchy. Okay, so they're running through the duchies. Maybe they will start to slow down. That's like our only hope. Okay, we hit the copper. Um, <clears throat> I think 
we do by the province? I thought I have so many gold too. Um, yeah, I don't know. This game's a mess. Um, oh, at the start of your turn. Oh, okay, so this happens next turn. So I don't even have to make a decision here yet. Um, uh, what do we want to do then? I, I need to start buying duchies, so I guess I'll start right now. All right, plus buys is also pretty interesting. Um... I mean, I guess with this hand, I I say that the governor is plus cards. Um, they have a teacher as well, so like I didn't even didn't even outspeed them on that capacity. I think I mean realistically, we should just go next here and uh, yeah, move on to the next game. So even if I buy every province, every duchy, that's plus 18. Um, let's go next. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's no way out of that one. Um, regardless of what I do there, um, they will be able to beat me. Um, so... No, no sense in, in playing that one out. Um, let's, let's move on to the next game. Save us both some time, huh? Uh, and I believe they were on the play for that one. So we will get to be on the play for this one. And this time we got a goat, which I like that. Uh, you can trash a card from your hand when you play it. Uh, we also have a trade, trash two cards in your hand to gain two silver um, per card you trashed. Uh, when you discard this from play, put it on top of your deck. All right, so Way of the Frog lets you hang on to some actions. We've got Chapel. Oh, that's interesting. Way of the Frog. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, all right. Stables is really good. And then we also have Pixie, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I do think that it does behoove us to just start with a chapel. Herald's really good, too, but I think we will just start with a chapel here. Um, this turn, I think we will grab a herald. And we'll trash our estate. Um, there is potentially an argument. I mean, like, the the witch and stuff is good, but with the with all of the trashing going on in this kingdom too, I think we're just gonna build out to a stables. So maybe uh, let's let's buy the four cost thing for now. Um, I could also see the marauder because the spoils aren't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, but we've got other terminal actions with witch and such and bridge troll. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's let's just grab Harold. My opponent does go for the Marauder, so let's see if we draw an estate here first. We do. Um, I don't want to trash three coppers because then that leaves me with not enough um, stuff in my deck to buy 
uh, stables or anything like that. I like stables plus ill-gotten gains as well, but let's go ahead and grab a silver first things first, and then we'll be able to trash all the estates from our deck. My opponent has a spoils and a ruined... I grabbed a ruined library off of that. Um, but I think this stuff is decent. I think what's going on right now is good. Um, we will probably goat this chapel when we can. Um... But do we want to buy Heralds? I think so. I think we do want to buy one Herald. The question is, do I want to trash these coppers? That will leave me with four copper in my deck, or four coin in my deck. And I think that's good enough. Yeah, this is my four coin. Um can get I'll probably just go my my ruined library I think it's good to just keep up with that um with that stuff to go goat your what are these called ruins goat your ruins as you grab them and what does the river's gift do what did my opponent grab there plus one card at the end of this turn okay uh so herald um revealing a copper Oh, I have one more copper in my deck. Um, so now we can play the chapel. Um, might as well play it on the ruined library. And then... We could even grab another silver here and make our deck just that much smaller. Though we do want, we do want a lot of actions in the deck. And there's not really actions that generate gold for us, so maybe we do want to start witching our opponent. Hmm, how do we want to play this? Herald's fine, even if we have some silver in the deck um okay yeah this is fine let's grab one more silver i thought about just going for the pixie um but i think i think this is good yeah keeping our deck small means that we get to uh continue eating these oh we actually don't get to eat the abandoned mine here um oh so i can frog it but that doesn't put it on top of the deck right now it just puts it on top of the deck at the end of the turn all right so let's just play that um then the herald does nothing so we just put this on top now okay um, I think I'm going to hang on to the goat. Trash my chapel. And now from here, I grab the gold and then I have eight. Okay, I think we're making something happen right now. Uh, there's a decent chance that we will... Yeah, so now we're only trashing one card per turn, but... That's fine. We're going to draw our deck and be able to trash this curse. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, we need. We really want our cards to be gold and then ruined village. Um, either way, we'll have access to eight here. Um, but in one of those scenarios, we won't be able to trash the curse. Um, I guess we'll either be able to trash the curse or the abandoned mine. Um, so it's about the same. Uh, but let's play the herald so we can goat the curse. And now... Are there any ways to get additional buys? Yes, the bridge troll. So I think we want the bridge troll.
Yeah, I probably should have grabbed the bridge troll last turn, but uh, this is fine. This is, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing something here. We've got a, I don't think this is called a golden deck, but we've, we've got, and it's not really an engine either, but maybe it is called a golden deck if we're doing the same thing every turn, uh, but we don't really know what that thing is yet. Uh, so let's herald, uh, so reveal and play a herald. Yeah, we're just gonna play it. Um, then I get to play the bridge troll, perfect. Um, and then we're going to end our actions. We're gonna go this abandoned mine. And now I've got two buys and I can buy two things. So that's great, we love to see that. Um, I'm certainly considering a double herald. Uh, next turn I won't even have the bridge troll because it's not really a penultimate action. You only play it every other turn. Um, so that's kind of interesting to consider, too. Um, do we want the stables? Yeah, I mean, it's probably good if you're drawing your whole deck to have a stables in there or two. Um, I think I like that. So how many stables do we want? Do I want one stables, one bridge troll? Yeah, that seems good for now. All right. So now we're playing bridge troll every turn. we draw extra heralds, which we will, then we will uh, be able to top deck them for the next turn, which is good. All right, my opponent's gonna get minus one card at the end of this turn. Actually, they grab minus one card from their pixie, right? Yeah. Um, okay, great. Uh, so my cards still cost one less, so they'll cost even one less more this turn that's pretty crazy all right let's start with herald um then let's stables discarding silver drawing everything then let's way of the frog then let's play bridge troll and i have three buys and everything costs two less so from here we could do something like stables stables herald um, I think we are going to want more cash in my deck to supplement the fact that we're getting more buys. Um, so what is that? That could be stables, gold. Mm. Don't think it's gold gold. I think we want to be buying a stables every turn now. Um, yeah, I think it's just stables, gold, silver. That means this turn we'll have access to 13. Uh, we'll be able to draw it all. So with 13, oh right, do I have to note that, but that'll be fine. Um, we'll be able to go that away by the end of the turn here. Um, sorry, the stables is only a draw two, so I do have to consider that. So maybe this turn we'll pick up a stables. Oh, maybe this turn we'll pick up two stables in a province or something. Uh, or two stables in a gold. No, we'll have enough for two stables in a province. Because uh, that's 12 and we're going to have access to 13. Uh, so now we're engining. Uh, I, guess, I guess it was just the start of the engine. Was trash your whole deck. And then get ready for action. Ready, ready for action. All right, and my opponent grabs their first stables, but we are already off to the races here. Let's start with a Herald. Um, we're just gonna play the Bridge Troll. Uh, then we're going to Stables, discarding Silver. Then we will... Um, this Herald is going to fail, and we already know that. Um, but we need to draw one card deeper into the deck, so let's play it anyways. 
and then stables, discarding silver, draw all three, goat, trash the curse, and then we have three buys, and I believe here, yeah, we buy stables, stables, province. All right, all righty. Um, so that adds three cards to the deck, um, and we're drawing five extra cards this turn, two from each stables, and one because we trashed the curse. So uh, we're ahead two cards. So even if they curse us twice, we will still have enough to goat our curse. Uh, we did not make any additional money this turn. Uh, so we will have to consider that next turn, maybe buying uh, Stables Gold Province on this turn, I think. I think that sounds like a good turn. Uh, let's play the Bridge Troll. It's Herald. Let's play the stables, discarding a silver. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just have to play through the extra stables, but um, the end result is everything in our hand. Uh, I guess we could frog this, huh? Yeah, it seems fine, especially because we're going to be buying a gold. Uh, this is May, so we don't have to do it. And then we go stables, gold, province. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Uh, we could actually fizzle here if we fail to draw a treasure or a herald off the stables. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's actually possible. Uh, because then what are we drawing? Um, great. Uh, we will need to hit some heralds at some point. Bridge trolls are only terminal action though, so we good. We should be good here. Uh, no heralds yet. Here they are. Uh, so let's play herald. Uh, let's play stables. And then if we just go herald into stables, this will draw our deck. Uh, then let's play bridge troll. Let's go with the curse. And now we have, <laughs> my opponent says, this time I'll concede. You've got a nice engine. So yeah, we are definitely looking super strong here. And my opponent throws in the towel. So there we go. We got one. We made an engine work. We just needed a kingdom with an engine in it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we are one, two in my opponent's favor. My opponent is going to be on the play for this one. And I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. That's my first win in a little bit. All right, Ferry, I know I like this one, but what does it do? Move your minus one token to make cards from that pile cost two less on your turns. And we also have Orchard. Ah, okay. So Ferry really wants you to all in on something. And Orchard really wants you to have three copies of a bunch of different things. So that is going to be interesting. And looks like there's a lot of good actions in this kingdom. Let me let me full screen the kingdom. Uh, Experiment is a horse. Scheme is really good. Uh, how do we get buys? Barge gives us buys. So we're definitely going to want a barge and bridge as well. Um, <clears throat> no way to generate actions though. That is a little annoying. Um, all right, all right. Uh, any trashing? Is there any trashing? Oh, my opponent with a fiver. That is annoying so they're going to they're going to give me ruins and they're going to run through all of the curses and there's no trashing oh gosh i almost feel like i'm going to ferry the cultist on my second turn to stay even with my opponent. Actually, I could just ferry the cultist right now. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. There's no trashing in this kingdom. 
I'm scared. Let's uh, let's let's set ourselves up to get more cultists than our opponent. So right now, even though my opponent got the five two split, I'm actually beating my opponent because we both have a cultist, and I just also have the fairy. Um, so I think we played this very well here, and we're just gonna go mono cultist strat and buy a cultist every turn um, because these these ruined villages are going to be super annoying for both myself and my opponent here, uh, but we should be able to give my opponent all of them, uh, more or less. So I don't think I have another cultist in this uh, player level, some, uh, some Soulforge terminology. I don't know <coughs> if, uh, I don't know if Kaleri is still here. <coughs> Just had an asthma attack. All right. Uh, got excited thinking about Soulforge, had an asthma attack. Um, great. Um, so now what do we want to do? There's still six more of these things here. Um, I like Barge, but, I mean, Cultist only begets more Cultist. Let's run it. This way we can do it again this turn and, uh run the table here. I think this is this is going to be really good. So my opponent's going to go for the groundskeepers, but groundskeepers going to be so tough with the ferry and I think I'm going to have enough time to grab some groundskeeper um as well. Ooh, secret project. Uh let's play our rune village, I suppose, and then let's chain our cultists and <clears throat> with four more mines in the deck. I mean, my thought is, as these decks get bigger, it's just gonna it's just gonna be better and better to have more cultists in the deck. I might just go for like horde next turn or something. Uh, my opponent double cultisting me, and then we're gonna cultist them and finish off the the ruins. And then I suppose I'm going to ferry on my turn. I might have access to the full seven, though. Like, if I have access to six, maybe I just buy Horde. Um, not super sure. So I do have access to five. And with access to five, what shall we do? I mean, my thought process is really that the only thing that's actually going to matter is this. Um, <clears throat> per differently named card you have in play. Uh, yes, yeah, Secret Project gets gets people's uh, gets people's heads flowing. Um, hmm. This is really tricky because I do think that I want treasures now so that I can play treasures off of this, but I don't think this counts as a treasure. Um, I think I really want Horde. I think I'll buy Horde whenever I can, but like Horn of Plenty, if I were to play that here, I guess this gives me a silver. But it could also potentially let me start grabbing some of this lower tier stuff. Now and at the start of your next turn. No, you know what? Let's grab one barge for those turns that we miss. Let's grab a barge for the turns we miss. Okay, and now we have access to ferry. Uh, so the question is, will I use the ferry? Might as well, right? Use the ferry on groundskeeper or bridge or something. Um, probably just groundskeeper. Let's go ahead and do this and meet my opponent. So um, we're going to be able to draw our whole deck this turn, um, which really just means like maximum seven, uh, but most likely about five or six. Okay, we hit five again. Um, maybe I do need to just start throwing some silvers into my deck. Horn of Plenty does get me silvers. All right, let's, let's start buying Horns of Plenty. 
Because actions are the only things that we can play after we cultist a whole bunch. My opponent is really swimming in it though right now. So we've got time to stumble and figure out exactly what it is that we want to do. We buy a groundskeeper on our off turns. We are just going to want to try to get four groundskeeper just for the victory points. But I don't even know how strong that is. Like, maybe we should just be trying to keep our deck... <clears throat> as svelte as possible. Uh, I am going to finish off the groundskeeper since we already started. Oh, I can grab a groundskeeper from this because of the ferry. I always forget that's how this game works. All right, let's, let's finish off our groundskeepers then. And now I'm going to make it my mission to try to grab some hordes. Um, that said, barge versus cultist. We'll see what we draw off the groundskeeper. Um, oh, and my opponent's going to give in the towel. Yeah, they just have so many ruins in their deck that that one wasn't looking good. And I saw, I was like, there's no trashing in this kingdom. Let's, yeah. No trashing in that kingdom. So first person, my opponent just said, you, you win the cultist race. Um, so first person to get all of the cultists, give their opponent all of the ruins is going to be the one to win that game. Uh, so we will be on the play here yet again for game five. And we've got a throne room. We've got a salvager. We've got two projects. I love projects. The start of your turn, plus one card, then put a card from your hand onto your deck. Interesting. So just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, mixing it around. And then pageant lets you turn a coin into a coffers, which I love. We also have two base set cards in Laboratory and Throne Room. We have Champion, which says actions can't hit you, and then all actions replace themselves. Um, which we don't really need. We're, we're really, I think, going to try to race to Laboratory, but I want to read the other cards as well. Um, uh, City Gate isn't going to do anything for us, really, that I can see, at the very least at the start of the game. Um, it helps just to make sure that you find a Laboratory in that opening hand. Uh, but let's see what else we have. Choose one. Okay, Pirate Ship is confusing. Um, I don't think I want to go for, yeah, the, the much better route is four than three to get pageant and then get page. Um, merchant ship is also really cool. If there are any cards in the trash costing three to five, gain one of them. Otherwise, each other player reveals the top two cards of their deck, trashes one of them, costing three to six. I don't know why I said three to five. Three to six, wow. So Rogue is really nasty. Um, okay, that's scary. That also makes me less inclined to do this page shenanigans. Um, and Rogue doesn't work if it just worked previously. I think I'm going to buy a Silver. And then I'm going to buy the Pageant. Which gives me a Coffers. And my opponent's going for the Page. That's fine because I think we can Rogue their Page. And really disappoint them uh, but we're gonna grab a pageant here and now i've got access to any five drop plus a coffers merchant ship is good i don't think i need to get the rogue just yet let's read pirate ship again choose one plus one coin per Plus one per coin token on your pirate ship map, where each other player reveals the top two cards of their deck, trashes one of the treasures that you choose, 
and discards the rest. Okay. So they're just going to be trashing my coppers. Um, this seems fine to me for now. And the pirate ship maps are separate. Yeah, we have separate pirate ship maps. Okay. Um, I don't want Rogue just yet. Laboratory doesn't gain me anything. But I think that's fine. If I just buy some laboratories and throne rooms, then I think we're looking okay. Yeah, so I just trashed a copper. That seems great for me. Um, now I have to decide if I want to... I do want to get like a salvager at some point as well. Um, but I don't think I want to spend coffers to use it. question is, do I want a coffers this turn or do I want a page? Um, page doesn't really do too much for me. But I would like to get the champion potentially if my opponent does not go for a rogue, so we'll try this. Um, here I'm probably going to wind up buying a another laboratory. Uh, we don't want to buy gold because my opponent has pirate ship. Pageant's already gained me two coffers, uh, so it's already almost made up for itself. And my opponent goes for the pageant themselves. Yeah, pageant is really good. All right, so let's see what we draw off this laboratory. That's perfect. Six is perfect because now I can lab and throw another coffers to the next turn. My opponent is currently on Treasure Hunter. Page. Pirate Ship. I think I want to wait, wait one more go before I buy a Rogue. But we can't wait forever. Um, let's buy one more Laboratory, though. Right, and now we've got a bunch of coffers. We might wind up using them. My opponent is going to get rid of my silver, so I potentially want to look into merchant ship here as well. Um, they bought a silver. Okay. Um, oh, wow. We actually totally miss here. Um, Do we want merchant ship? How do we get buys? Does treasure hunter give us buys? It does not. Or is there no way to get buys in the kingdom? Okay, so, oh, salvager. Um, yeah, let's grab a salvager. I think that we're just going to want it sooner rather than later. Oh, they use their coffers to grab a laboratory. Okay, that makes sense, too. Yeah, that, that was, like, the other play, is to just, like, keep grabbing laboratories. But I don't actually have cash in my deck. Um, so I do need to find a way to grab some cash. Um, Treasure Hunter is going to give me two silvers. So that is pretty sweet. Um, and I guess that's enough cash in my deck for now. Let's buy another laboratory. Send another coffers. And, oh, you know what? I was definitely supposed to grab a rogue there. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Because now Rogue isn't going to work because my opponent's on Warrior. Maybe I can catch it while they're on Hero. Um, but we definitely left ourselves a little light here. Are there any cards in the trash? So I can at least use Rogue to get back my Silver. Um, but that's not super great as a terminal action. Um... Shoot. All right, let's start with the laboratory. Uh, yeah, so I can trash this. That gives me two, and now I've got six, but I've also got two buys um, at the end of your buy phase. 
Um, I didn't know if I even read Talisman. I have this in play when you buy a non-victory card costing four or less, gain a copy of it. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm certainly, certainly thinking about just gra grabbing another laboratory here. Um, if we do champion and we get the laboratory, that means that we can then grab a bunch of merchant ships as well because they will no longer be terminal actions um so if we assume that we're both going to champion up maybe laboratory is good because we'll be able to play everything in our deck it also means that rabble is pretty good if we just assume at this point though i guess one thing that i hadn't really been considering is that these laboratories are actually making it so that I potentially win the champion war here. I think I'm going to get to champion before my opponent does because my entire deck is just laboratories. All right, and we only have one buy here. Let's just grab a Pravi. Pravi plus a copper. Uh, plus a coffer, rather. Is, uh, seems seems pretty strong. And yeah, because I just have so many laboratories in my deck, I think I'm going to beat my opponent to hero, beat them to champion, and from there, I think we start buying up the merchant ships with Salvager. Right, well, we definitely trash an estate. That's great. Um, and then just laboratory again with another coffers. Sure. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, this game's definitely very silly. Uh, my opponent bought a province as well on their last turn. So we're definitely getting some big turns here. Uh, looks like I am going to beat my opponent to champion, but just barely... And I'm going to be reshuffling my deck next turn, most likely. Um, so not a huge beat. I might consider playing... Oh, okay. My opponent is lockstep with me here. And they are probably going to be able to get a province. No, just another laboratory. Okie dokie. Uh, so, yeah, what I was thinking is it might make sense to play two laboratories and stop. Because here I can play a hero and then reshuffle my deck in on the next level. Um, and then just race my opponent to the champion. I think that's going to make the most sense. Uh, I almost want another salvager, but I do think I'm going to take the laboratory. I'm almost just considering grabbing a rabble, though, at this point. It's just more card draw. Let's just assume that we have the champion, and let's just grab the rabble, because it's a 3-1. Okay, I like this. Um, but not a victory card costing 4 or less. No, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be buying merchant ships. I think this is the play. I think this is the play here. Um, it worked out really awkwardly because we drew the rabble right now. Um, but that means we're going to get one attack out of it. So each other player reveals the top three cards of their deck, discards the actions and treasures, and puts the rest back in any order they choose. Oh, so we might really get them here. Uh, no. Uh, uh, now I buy another Salvager. And now this turn I'll hit the champion. Oh no, they're going to pirate ship away my champion. Oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. This turn was set up to be amazing. Wow. Okay. 
That's frustrating, but they didn't do anything with their turn either. They just pirate shipped. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I think we just salvager trashing a copper. And then I think I'm gonna start buying merchant ships now. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll send the coffers to the next one. We'll get multiple buys here eventually. My opponent is first person to champion, so that is pretty annoying. Um, and they're just gonna buy a province with their time. Uh, hopefully we can find what we need to. There we go, there we go. All right, so attacks no longer work. Rabble is now a draw three, and we drew the whole deck, so that is great. Um, let's salvage our estate to start here, and then autoplay the treasures, and let's see what else we want to do. Um, so we definitely want to be buying a province, and I think I want like Province Rabble. I might just get Province Gold. That is the most money efficient. Honestly, maybe it's just Pravi Pravi. Uh, but let's grab Pravi Gold for now. We can we can save our coffers. We're going to be drawing a Salvager next turn. Um, so we'll have we'll have cash to use with the buys. We'll have buys to use the cash with. All right, warrior does no longer affect us. It's just plus two cards. Potentially look into some rabbles. Yeah, my opponent now buying a rabble. They're, they're hip to the rabble game as well. Um, there is a chance. No, I only have three buys. So there's no chance that we win this turn. But we could get dang close. I think we want to get rid of our coppers to start off with here. Yeah. All right, so what do we have access to right now? <clears throat> Double Pravi. Double Pravi seems good. Could also go Rabble Rabble. Really don't hate rab uh, at least one Rabble. Maybe it's like... Rabble. I can't get Rabble Rabble Pravi. It would just be Pravi Rabble. I'm only going to be buying two things here. I think we save some of our coffers and get... Ah, uh, this seems wrong. This seems wrong. That seems right. Now my opponent can't buy one Pravi. If they buy two, if they're able to buy two, um, I probably wasn't winning this game anyways, and it looks like they might be able to. They've got a pretty good start to a turn here. But now they can't even buy one. Otherwise, I can end the game. And even if they don't, I think there is a decent chance that I'm able to end the game. Pirate Ship is now just three coin. It's just a gold. And they're able to buy two. Oh, they only had one buy. Oh, they only had one buy. Oh, wow. That is so good. That is so good. Only one buy, you 
scared me. Close one. All right, and we have the salvager, so we will be able to pull it out here. We actually draw our entire deck, um, and then let's just say uh, salvager merchant ship and salvager uh, gold, I suppose, right? Whew, okay, we got that one. Whew, we did it, we did it. Um, all right, so we are 3-2. My opponent saying that they had very bad luck in the last three games. Sure, I had bad luck in the first two games, maybe. Um, I think, um, in terms of sportsmanship, it's always good to, well... That's, that's why we play card games, right? Oh, nothing else in this kingdom. Ooh, simple kingdom. All right, so uh, this kingdom has a Destrier, which I love if we can gain additional cards. Ducat does give us additional buys. Um, so that sounds really interesting. Magpie is also going to be really good, as will Silk Merchant be. Uh, so while this is a simple kingdom, this kingdom is actually extremely powerful. Okay. Um, what does Scepter do when you play this? Choose one. Replay an action or it's a silver. Alrighty. And then Envoy is... Um, a little bit of a draw action. Uh, my opponent with the 5-2 split, which again I don't think is great in this kingdom because you can't really use it with Ducat. Okay, so they're going to go with Forum and Monastery. Let me buy this plus one buy. Uh, I think I'm going to snag all of the Magpies because those will eventually start to be good with the Destrier. The Silk Merchant gives you a buy. Maybe I start with Silk Merchant... And then next turn, we'll grab Magpie. We'll use our coffers and grab Magpie. Mm, not sure. Maybe we don't want to use our coffers. Maybe we just want to buy a Ducat. Um, this kingdom really isn't that simple because there's so many powerful things you can do on it. Um, Destrier is obviously the end-all, be-all, and the ultimate goal. Um... Start with Silk Merchant here. And then I'm thinking about Ducats. We definitely want these Magpies because if you can get a good Magpie turn while well, you also have like a Silk Merchant at the end for multiple buys, you'll be able to grab multiple Destriers. And my opponent goes for the Scepter, which is really just a silver. But Monastery is going to allow them to trash a bunch of cards. For each card you've gained this turn, you may trash a card you have in hand or a copper you have in play. Um, so I don't think I want to do that right this second. Ah, but the sooner you get it, the better, huh? <clears throat> My, my heart is telling me Ducat. So I'm going to grab a Ducat <clears throat> and trash a copper. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, they grabbed a Ducat, but they didn't... If you don't trash a copper when you play the Ducat, it's really not as good. Um... I'm going to start grabbing some magpies now. I think those are going to be really important. We have an extra buy. We actually have two extra buys. Um, so we could really make something work this turn for the Destriers. So 
So if I play three coin, So I have to think about this. Three buys. <clears throat> means that if I just went copper, copper, I could buy a Destrier. There's no way that that is good enough. This is, this is a complicated kingdom. Um, <clears throat> I should have grabbed armory. Um, okay, let's not let's not compound this mistake. Let's just buy an armory because armory is actually really insane in this kingdom. So let's just get it done. So my opponent has access to five. They can buy a forum or another scepter. They're also going to grab an armory. Yeah, armory is just really good in this kingdom, and we both missed it uh, to start off with. Um, it's almost good enough that I could use another one. Um, grab an acting troop eventually. I should probably try to grab a monastery. Get rid of these estates. It's just such an awkward card. Um, maybe I grab one more silk merchant. Now, if I'm going to grab a silk merchant, I should just grab an armory. All right, let's grab one more armory. I'm just now realizing how good it is, but um, better to just admit that we made a mistake and start grabbing some armories now. All right, opponent goes for the Silk Merchant and then plays a Monastery and trashes a Copper. Yeah, I do think that I would like to grab a Monastery at some point here. Um, so basically I can use my Villager to uh, get that. Okay, this is gonna be a perfect turn for Monastery. Let's use my Villager to grab, I guess let's keep my villager, um, and then let's buy a monastery. Right, so now I still have access to my villager, and yeah, this is a really, really powerful kingdom. And I think my opponent is beating me because they've used Monastery more. Uh, so we grabbed a Magpie. That's really good. Uh, let's Silk Merchant. And... I mean, we will have access to Acting Troop in the late game. We like Armory for Acting Troops. I think I want to always keep a Villager. That's, that's just like where I feel like I want to be. So... Silk Merchant, and now I think I'm going to use my Coffers and get two Destrier here for four and three. I think that's a good play. Um, maybe I should have just grabbed a Magpie, um, but I like having a Villager always. I mean, this turn, this turn's going to be... Um, a little bit awkward, but you can also armory for the silk merchant, which gives you a villager. Um, we're just we're gonna want to pick up some acting troops, ASAP. Um, we also don't really have cash in the deck other than Ducats. 
So we do need to find a way to grab some cash, which armory could be as well later on. Um, villagers are a finite resource. Either way, you split it. Um, but hopefully there's enough means to that end here. Um, we might monastery our silk merchant, actually. Um, depends. Okay. Uh, well, we definitely use an action on magpie. That's free. Uh, we reveal a magpie, so we got a destrier. Uh, if we armory for... Like, let's say we armory for acting troop. That will make Destrier cost four. Um, so I guess we Armory for Silk Merchant, use the coffers to buy a Destrier. Instead of using the coffers, we could also just buy a... <laughs> we could just buy a um a copper we're going to be able to monastery some things at the end of this turn too so i don't mind buying copper um So let's armory for acting troop, then buy copper destrier. Okay, I think this works. Copper destrier monastery, and now I get to trash up to four, so... Um, yeah, okay, so I select these one at a time. Uh, I am going to get rid of my coppers because I just bought one copper. Okay. <clears throat> we're, we're kicking my opponent's butt on the Destrier race. And I do think at some point this is a horse race. We'll be able to trash our silk merchants. The more coppers and things we trash, the better our magpies. My opponent has more magpies, but the magpies are going to fall off and the destriers never fall off. Actually, the magpies don't... Oh yeah, they do. They do fall off once... Your deck has too many actions in it, and there's no magpies left to gain. The armories can start gaining silvers. We said that. Uh, I'll definitely be using the acting troop here, and that will buy me a lot of time where I don't have to worry about my actions again. Uh, scepter copying armory is pretty cool. Maybe I do want to go ahead and grab myself a scepter right now. Uh, my opponent invented that technology, but I think I will copy it. So three buys for my opponent. Uh, we are going to see them grab three Destrier? No, not quite. Not quite. Um, well, they, they might go for an undo here because they uh, used their coffers and they didn't have to. It looks like they don't care enough. Um, I'd certainly let them undo if they wanted to, but I'm not going to tell them about it. Uh, so now we're three Destrier apiece. Um, my opponent with much more Magpie as well, which is a little bit scary, but as long as we can win the Destrier race... I'm feeling okay. I think 
We'll have decent odds to do so. Yeah, so my opponent now using the Monastery. Wait, they touched three coppers? Oh, because they also gained... Oh, they used the, the Armory to gain Magpies. Oh, that's really interesting. All right, so let's start with our Destriers. Um, hmm. And now I can use the Acting Troop, and it will basically just cost me one Villager. But I think that that's fine to do. Um, so I think here I either Armory for an Acting Troop or for a... Silver. Oh, the armory gains on top of your deck. Okay. Uh, that's really interesting. Um, oh, so that's why my opponent went for the magpies. Oh, because now they have two magpies on top of their deck. Oh, that almost makes me want to take the last magpie just to deny them that. I guess I will. All right. Let's grab the last magpie. And then let's grab one more Destrier, I believe. Um, could also grab a Scepter here. It's awkward because when you Scepter, you don't get to go back to your actions. So you're really just using it for Armory. Um... This is expensive for... Eh, I mean, it's just a laboratory right now. Okay. We'll buy a laboratory. Laboratory. All right, my opponent grabs the last magpie. Um, but they could have grabbed two magpies for free, which is why I did not want that to happen this turn. Could have grabbed four magpies for free. Their deck is all actions after they have uh, done that. But... If your deck is all actions, do they have enough cash in there? Because they discarded five coppers last turn and got magpies for them. My opponent might have put themselves in a weird spot. Yeah, now they're armoring for silver, which is fine and right. And they're going to armory for silver again. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. They don't. They don't have any cash in their whole deck. And armory for silver is still fine, um, but it means this rather impressive turn really does not net them too too much here, and um, that's good for us. Um, I think their best play is copper destrier. Actually, um, save their coffers. No, they're gonna they're gonna spend their coffers and buy a silver. Okay. Yeah, so now they're kind of done with the Destrier race. And I do think, yeah, they're going to trash their Coppers. Because they've got a whole lot of nothing else. Oh, Silk Merchant is when you gain or trash? Oh, wow, Monastery is insane. Okay, uh, so let's use my Magpies, my Destriers. Okay. Oh, wow. And we are actually drawing our whole deck here as well. Um, so we're only going to be able to gain... Oh, yeah, we get to gain three cards here. We've got Ducat. Um, so we can Armory. Well, now that I know that trashing the Silk Merchants is also gas, um, that's kind of what I want to do is... Put a Silk Merchant on top. I'm somewhat inclined to play the Silk Merchant, knowing that I'll draw another Silk Merchant. Um, but what happens if we play this here now? We've got six. If we want to use our second buy on something that costs four, means we would buy a Ducat, but that means that we want another Copper. Um... I 
Actually, maybe with enough buys, we can buy out all of the Destrier. Copper, copper. We'll be able to trash all the coppers at the end of the turn anyways. Right. Okay. Armory gaining. Probably just gain Silk Merchant with, with Armory. Um, and we'll trash them here soon. So how many buys do we currently have? Three buys. We currently have access to five buys. Like one, and then four plus three plus two is nine. We don't have access to nine. We've got access to six. So we need to make them cost three, two, one, which means we need four buys, which we already have access to. So we armory for silk merchant then we end our actions all right so four buys three two one is what they need to cost so we're going to need six coffers to buy all the destrier Yeah, six, we buy copper, then we buy three, two, one, then we monastery. Okay, we need to make sure the game doesn't end while we have nothing. Um, I don't think it can. Do I want to stop trashing because I need this cash? Currently I have exactly five cash in my deck. I've got the one co copper I just gained plus four copper in play, plus three coffers. has the silvers. I know I can get a province this turn. I think I can get a province next turn as well. Basically, we just have to start using the armories to gain silvers. my opponent we might be able to win because there's no way they can end here and I think we might be able to buy silk merchant plus estate so if they don't buy a green this turn I mean this game is so close to ending we're two silk merchants away from this game ending That one coffer that my opponent threw away might be huge here. Scepter, Armory, grab the Silk Merchant. Yeah, okay, so they found it here. They've got two buys. They're going to buy the Silk Merchant and an estate. Uh, I didn't think they had it in them. Yeah, they got it. They got it. GG. GG.
GG's. All right. Well, these were these were some crazy games. We wind up going 3-3, which isn't that bad, uh, all things considered. So, uh, yeah, I guess I needed to leave a silk. Did I even grab a silk merchant on my turn? I did. I definitely grabbed one. Um, so we wind up 3-3 in these games. Um, and that doesn't feel too bad after being down the first two. Um, so definitely happy about that. I will... I will be playing another one of these on Friday. Um, hopefully I'm able to put this on YouTube through the Twitch VOD. Um, and I will have to clear some space on my computer so that I am able to... Uh, so that I'm able to uh, keep recording things. Um, but um, yeah, those were those were pretty good games, I feel like. Um, definitely got a little bit carried away at that last one. I saw the trap as like we were about to fall into it. Um, and my opponent had a good move by taking those magpies because the armory puts the things on top of your deck. Um, it was just like a very powerful kingdom with a lot of different ways to go. And sometimes in a powerful kingdom like that, you get distracted and you go too big. Um, and that's what I think both myself and my opponent did. Um, but I'm not sure where exactly we should have pulled out and should have deviated uh, but that kingdom, I'm very curious to get some other people's opinions on. Um, the other games, I feel like my opponent and I had a pretty similar strategy um, with um, different different splits. And, and funny enough, in that one game, the 5-2 split wound up being pretty bad for my opponent there. Uh, as I was able to take the ferry and grab all of the cultists. So, uh, yeah, these were some fun ones. That's going to be it for me. Uh, but this same time, I will be doing another match on Friday. Uh, so you can catch me then. So two days from now, about 46 hours from now, I should be live with about the same stuff. But that is going to be... And, yeah, I guess for those... Um, Potentially watching this on YouTube on Thursday, that means I'll be live tomorrow at about uh, 2 p.m. EST. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.